Maybe I've made a mistake. Now I've got some people to live for. These nomads, they really make you want to leave the city behind. I'm probably looking at their life through rose-tinted optics, considering how I'm only sampling their community without staying for any of their struggles. But it's so overwhelming to feel important to someone besides myself. If I could tolerate the sand in my brand new boots, I'd probably stay for longer. If I was raised as a city girl, I'll always need somewhere higher up to retreat to and keep myself kitsch. Phanam can visit me for a change. Johnny wanted me to leave that copper alone after our biz with him was finished. But what happened to his family? I couldn't let him go through that alone. No one should. River might not be on the force anymore, but he's someone with a good heart who I can count on. The NCPD might be a bunch of corpo grease gongs, but River was different. He wanted to stand for something honest. It might get him killed in the end, but I won't judge every book by Johnny's cover. This city just won't let you have a win. We saved Randy from torture and death. And a few days later I meet Joshua Stevenson, who's trying to willingly put himself through torture and death. Nova. One does strange things to absolve oneself of the responsibility and guilt of one's own foolish actions. I could call Joshua crazy, stupid, deluded, a gonk, but coming from the woman who's stolen from the Arasakas, assaulted a Kang Tao convoy, infiltrated a fortified Tiger Claw business, died several times, and plans on liaising with the introverted voodoo boys, it would seem a tad rich. I never thought too much about what got Francis killed. I was always so consumed by angst in my childhood that any curiosity over how he died was always overwritten. After landing myself in consecutive disasters, Maybe it's time to wonder what really happened to him, if his life in the Corpo hamster wheel trapped and cornered him like it did me. Maybe. So we're caught in this position where we feel like we've met some important people in our life, we've made some good friends, we've shared some pretty crazy experiences with and I guess the realisation that that might all not count for much because we are dying, right? So I guess we're feeling Neve is going to feel pretty conflicted right about now. Going from a position where we were kind of on our own, scrambling for our own survival, and now we've got people we don't want to leave behind, I suppose. And we're just going to have to try and put it in the back of our mind and keep, keep on living, right? But it's definitely a very present thought. So, since the last episode, I did like a, a, a super hectic run around a bunch of clothing shops to try and get uh, as much stuff as possible. But I had to do it quickly because there's always the risk in this game of someone calling you with an important story. Uh, message or something and I didn't run into anything that I can at least remember um, and so we look a bit different now not massively different but you know I've been changing the appearance a bit so I've, I've, I'm kind of doing this I, I, after we had the, the like neurological surgery um, I'm just kind of slowly letting the hair grow a little bit longer each time so this is what we look like now Um, I've gone for the a slightly blue theme. Uh, like I was, it's, it's the hair looks darker there than it actually does, but it's more of like a, a clean white sort of look. I'll show you in the menu anyway, because the hair looks like kind of grey. Our eyes are white. Uh, we've got like silver jewelry, silver nails, so it's kind of like a silver with a bit of blue kind of look. Only issue I'm going to run into here is that these tra trousers, I found them quite early on 
I couldn't find anything silver anywhere else, but uh, I, I really like the way it looks. The hair's kind of grey, slight like a, a very faded blue. Um, I know the whole background story about blue, but it's it's to do with the eyes, and our eyes aren't blue, <laughs> right? To do with to do with old Francis. Um, so I, I'm not going to ignore blue, you know, in its entirety. Um, so I've, I, do, I do have a bunch of other jackets that are kind of in the kind of silvery range. Um, but the, on, the one that went best was this blue jacket. And the, these ones are all old, so I, I can't have all, like, really bad armor. I can only really get away with so much. So... I, th you know, that looks alright with the white, that goes th with the grey, that goes with the hair quite nicely. And this one goes best, I think. Um, basically, I'd like to put this armadillo mod just to bump up the armor. But I need to get the perk where I can upgrade this to uncommon or rare to get that in. Uh, and I'm going to give the Lizzie a go. I've upgraded it to epic. So, yeah. Now, because I did a bunch of running around, I don't know if the cat has appeared. So we're just going to quickly check. It might not appear here. I don't know. I imagine it would. That's where the food is. Nope, it is not eating the food. Okay, so we've not enough time has passed. I thought because I was doing a bunch of fast traveling, just running to clothing vendors <laughs> so I found I noticed this I don't know what the hell this is greetings from des mois it might be nothing important but I hadn't noticed it before jump in the urinal and stand on your head I'm the one that's alive you're all dead What the hell is this? De moi. I'm going to write that down. Greetings. I wonder if we'll get a quest after exiting this. From... Des Moines. <laughs> De moi. Okay, so that could be... Pacifica. Greetings from De moi. Huh. Greetings from day one. I've not really spent any time reading this stuff, have I? We will do that, just I'm not going to do it at the beginning of an episode. Okay, that's weird. Greetings from day one. Huh. That looks like, suspiciously like, where a cat, what a cat would eat, right? Where is this cat? Elusive. Okay, so, uh, so um, mission-wise, we need to ring Reno, or call Reno. So, a job from Nyx should be interesting. Guy's got a rep for being an expert on antique tech, pre-crash hardware, decks, mag discs, yada, yada, yada. Some people will tell you it's as useful as a typewriter, a record player, a pile of dried cat shit, but me, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah, he doesn't sound like he's living in the past. He uses modern gear as well. Like, he had a net running suit on, right? So, um. We've got some messages from Reyes as well, probably about cars, right? Reno? Hey! You looking for the book? Yep. Sounds about right. Price non negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prem, I flicked you the address. Come by your lonesome. This is mighty sus. Sending you coordinates. Got you. Yes, very, very sus. Oh yeah. Fair enough. Right, and I want to go and check on Misty because and the crazy guy. And, okay, this is right by the paralysis, so maybe we can do both. 
and there's a gig over here. Yeah. And I put a different uh, skin on the car. Come alone, I have eyes everywhere. Let's not complicate things here. This person sounds incredibly paranoid. Let's not get defensive. Right. Okay, so we'll get the car after we've spoken to Misty. And maybe gotten some new Kuroshis off. Um, Vic. What's it? Why don't ya? When danger lurks. Uh, Money-wise, how much have I got left? I've got 16,000 left, so I really did spend most of my money. Most of it went on the car and the cyberdeck, to be fair. What the hell? It's too busy here. Fuck! Exactly. Alright. Recording check. Everything is a okay. But yeah, maybe if we do the Parales quest, that'll give us a nice bit of cash to make up the money we've just spent. Uh, I'm not forgetting about Joshua Stevenson. It's just that feels like the kind of thing you'd really think about going to first, right? Soya Silva an explosion of taste. We have got uh, a few gigs that we could be doing in Watson, but I feel like because we spent so much time in Watson at the start of the game and we've still not spent any time in West... not West... In Haywood. So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the room. Swallowing my own beard. Good job, Matt. Right, let's see if I can remember the way to Misty's. Pretty sure it's this way. Chill out. You're the one who's not right. This way, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll talk to the crazy guy. Oh, can we get there through this back alley? I think so. Looking good, guys. Yeah. Checking them out. Don't yeah, make him mind needs to work here. That's all. Oh yeah. When you get those kind of tombs. From way back. Doesn't matter. So what happened to her? Did she die or something? Nah. Changed jobs and skipped town. For a while. Oh, I get it. A tomb. Yeah. So you want to say hi? Chat about the good old days? Is he only... We have to come at a certain time of day, don't we? I don't think we can talk to Misty, you know. I think she's glitched. Horoscopes. Clients from Storyteller. Client number one, a Scorpio. You did it again. You rolled up your sleeves and cleans the Aegean stables. Everyone admires you, but you know that your only reward will be the next task you're given. There aren't many like you in Night City, but without you, the city would have long turned into shadows and dust. Avoid flirty AIs that try to impress you with their knowledge of ancient Greek. Your lucky place, the net. <laughs> okay, so that's... Um, T-Bug, right? Capricorn. You're born a corpo. You plot, you plan, you calculate.
and weave webs so tangled you sometimes lose yourself in them. If only you were the one calling the shots, you would already have the city at your feet. Unfortunately, you're caught up in a maze of responsibilities, but whatever you're pl plotting, make sure you see it through to the end. Avoid last minute changes to plans. Your lucky place, Arasaka Tower. That must be us, and I am a Capricorn. <laughs> Not that I believe in astrology, but and a Gemini. You know the city like the back of your hand. At night you head out just to listen to the pulse of the streets, the juicy chatter, muffled screams and drunken shouts just to soak up the atmosphere. You've been everywhere, you've tried everything, you're a free spirit and in Night City that makes you a unicorn. Avoid overworking, your lucky place, the newsroom. Hmm. J.S. Taurus, you've done your time waiting in the shadows of others, but your patience finally paid off. The applause and flash photography are all yours. The world of media has opened its doors to you. Television, radio, brain dance, net. And this is just the beginning. Avoid the waves crashing at your feet. Your lucky place, the TV studio. Aries. When everyone was down and out, you came storming back in, in style. The city loves people like you. It's how legends are born. Your triumph is bittersweet. You returned, but you've wound up on the street among the joy toys, con artists, and panhandlers. You know you've got the biz here to take. You've got biz here to take care of, but it can get tough when it feels like there's no end to it in sight. Avoid sketchy ripper docks. Your lucky place, Jig Jig Street. Hmm. Could be um, Evelyn, Judy. This city likes to devour players like you. But you know they're kind too well to get caught off guard. You're on the ground. You know that in Night City, beers only gets done when you put your blood, sweat and tears into it, not just flimsy dreams. You eat dreamers for breakfast. Avoid genetically modified nuts. Your lucky place, Haywood. Jackie, maybe? You've been in demand in Aries. You barely finish one task before someone's lined up to give you another. It often seems that you're on your own, but always remember... You have a team you can count on. Avoid emotional policemen with difficult pasts. <laughs> Your lucky place. A bar inspired by Babylonian culture. Huh. Another Capricorn. Although you've been riding with nomads for years, you're a corpo at heart. You knew that from the, that from the moment you stepped into Compeki Plaza, you felt at home there. You've had enough of camp life, constantly repairing generators, the sun gritting between your teeth. You'd have given up ages ago if you weren't so damn good at it. Avoid Raff and Shiv, your lucky place, Compeki Plaza. No, highly susceptible to the Barnum effect. Panam, maybe? I don't know if these are about our friends, but... You, a Virgo. You've been in the city only for a short time, but you already know the what and the how. You've already accomplished the toughest part. You have a team at your back. You've just been stand landing small jobs for now, but you know you're hungry for something bigger. Avoid getting attached to friendly talking machines. Your lucky place, the, mu the music scene. Okay. Is she glitched out? Because... I would like to speak to you again. Misty! Misty! A green dot has appeared. That kid's still got the gun. Get away from him. Hey Vic, I'm still alive, mate. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. Right. He's got level three. It just gives us another slot, so I don't know how useful that is, but nothing there. Carrying capacity. He had some good subdermal armor, right? No, no, he did not. Hmm. Here we go. Instantly restore, restores 3% of health after you discharge a fully charged weapon with a hit to an enemy. Is that tech weapons? Micro generator. Um, Ah, oh, just that's like it's three. What was it? Three percent. That just feels rubbish. Let's get these. Let's 
the only thing he's really got worth, that's worth buying. Yep, grenades, enemies, and we don't need the non-lethal one. Now, I don't know where we can get more of these. Can't really think. And did we get any weird special things off Nyx? I did craft some more legendary quick hacks just because it improves my... Because uh, I leveled up my hacking one more. I think we look great. Alright, so once again, the crazy guy's asleep and Misty is still praying. I don't know what the hell's going on with her there. Oh, the nerve. The nerve. And now you guys can see my updated Shion. The inter I, main I mainly chose this for the interior. Oh yeah. Look at this. Right, we're going to go to the coordinates that Reno gave us. Look at this, guys. Oh. Look at the interior, man. The white leather. Right, what should we do? Let's go Night FM. Oh, look at the light on the back. Uh, the brake light. Oops. Come on, guys, get a move on. Seriously, man. Go. Oh. I know this is a new car. I'm, I've got too much power driving this. First person might be better. in the rain oh god it's too powerful man I've got to be careful <laughs> yeah the back end really kicks out really got to pay attention with the braking with this because you accelerate so quick. Like, I crashed last time I tried to cross this road. That flash keep, keeps making me think I've been hit by a speed camera. <laughs> Sorry, I was staring at my car. Look at that! Sh okay, you're not real any real anymore. Okay, that was a bit of a stressful drive. This car's too powerful for me. Right, right. Just look at this interior, man. They just 
All the cars look so bespoke inside. Okay, where are we going? Oh, we're going up here. This person's very paranoid, so... Reno. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, for the spell book. Spell book. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Where did the masses go? Wow. Service here at Hardwire shit these days. Did we just pay? I mean... I don't know what to do. Should we try the corpo response? Let's just try the corpo thing. What the hell is this? I did not intend to hack her computer. And apparently she didn't like that. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Hello, hello. Uh, yeah? Uh. Spellbook. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Let's try again. Ouch. Hardwired customer service just ain't what it used to be. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure you do. Got a pretty good idea of who you are. Bargain basement dress suit, back alley implants. You are almost a cutout from a corp recruiting brochure. Hang on, this is fun. Let me guess. Uh, found something in a dusty corner of the warehouse, trying to hawk it off on the side. Oh, what would your manager say? I mean, not like your KPIs can include your under-the-counter deals. What the fuck you want? Yeah. Huge discount, please. Discount? Something real. Keep me from calling your boss. Oh, get fucked, scop shitter. Great, got that out of your system. Now let's get down to biz. We got a deal, or do I gotta make some calls? Just flip to the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Okay, that was a bit mean. <laughs> Oh, it's a pleasure doing biz with you. Weird. I guess we Corpo Neve just saw right through her, so. Alright, where are we going? It's pretty close by. I mean, just look at me. I played it short today, and now I'm 17% ahead. Actually, never mind. I'll go by myself. <laughs> huh? All right, sure, go. 
I'm busy anyway. Your food okay? Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. You're not paying attention to her, buddy. You're talking about work. Alright. Hey, get away from here. Yes? What's up? Oh, fuck. A Zeta Tech XPR. <laughs> Gotta be like 50 years old. Least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day. See? Hello? Return to Nyx, or open your shards menu and decrypt the book of spells. I mean, why not? I need to do some serious catching up. Poetry. Okay. Here is the spell book. Now, I'm going to do a dirty save here. I'm, I'm probably going to just go with whatever happens here, but oh, for God's sake, Matt. Alright, let's see. Wow. Okay. We've got a long time thanks to our new um, cyber deck. Is there any way of getting all of these? Okay. Oh, right. These are... Okay. Euro dollars. Euro dollars and components. The, the third one makes a copy of the demon infecting the shard. And the fourth one downloads a crafting spec for an advanced quick hack. So we really want the bottom two, right? Have we got any significant overlap? Besides that 55? No, not really. Right, so let's aim for the bottom two. We can do them in either order, because they, they both start and end with the same things. BD, E9, BD, 55, 1C, double F. Ouch. BD, E9, BD, 55, 1C, Double F, E D, got it. E D, E nine, B D, fifty five, one C, double F, B D. Okay. BBS rumor mills actually churned out some truth. Okay, so this is from the twelfth of uh, the twelfth of December, twenty twenty one. That Zeta Tech 4 is a fucking Alcatraz. Modified pit bulls at each entry port, speed traps and sea at access points. As soon as I step foot in their net, they set flatline on my ass. Nice try, Zeta, but a little aardvark and killer six combo meal did away with that. But for real, it wasn't easy. My trusty Elisla was smoking like a flare gun by the end of it. But I got the job done. Don't believe me? Check it, check it yourself. I left a little note at the top of Zeta's Fortress, where their logo used to be. Spider Murphy was here, another legendary Netrunner. That's awesome, Spider Murphy. She was, and she was there with Johnny, right? When he blew up Harasaka Tower. <laughs> oh fuck, he actually did it. This is on the 13th of uh, June, 2022. Bartmoss unleashed data crash. Whole nets falling apart before my very eyes. 
data fusing together, fortresses melting like ice cream, ones and zeros flooding the information highway, global stock markets losing its shit. Dow Jones dropped by hundreds in a single hour. Kang Tao CEO committed suicide. Netwatch is running around like a headless chicken. Holy fuck. Say goodbye to the old order. Death to corpse. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry. 5th of, uh, 5th of July 2023. Bart Moss was wrong. Everyone was wrong. The net was a mirror held up to our thoughts and dreams, our lives. Bart Moss took it and shattered it into pieces, thinking that would be enough. But as it happens, you can still see your reflection in every shattered piece of glass. Now instead of one mirror, we have thousands of them. Every corp, government, gang now has their own net. That they rule with an iron fist, with no regulation, no accountability. Surveillance hasn't disappeared. In the hands of those who govern us, it's only gotten worse. They're like modern day fates, with optical cables of our lives wrapped around their chrome fingers, ready to be cut, cut at a moment's notice. They hear our frustrations, they look upon our futile rebellion and they laugh. They laugh so hard the whole world trembles at its very core. Yeah, it kind of echoes what we were saying in the last episode, right? About how it didn't really solve anything, just like Johnny's bomb didn't really solve anything. <laughs> Turn to Nyx. We gotta go all the way back to the afterlife? I mean... Sure. <laughs> I don't mind driving our new car for a little bit, I guess. Wherever it is. Where did we leave our car? I think it's over here. Maybe it's moved because I had to reload. No, it's still there. Look at this bad boy. Security I'm gonna have to be careful driving this. What the hell? What? I didn't hurt anyone. Ah! Everyone's freaking out. Okay, so Nyx, I can't imagine he's going to be happy with us. He's probably going to be able to tell that we hacked into it, right? Oh, it, and it, we made a copy of something, right? Oh, it was for crafting papers. Doesn't say that anything's new. I must already have it. Oh no, is this? I think I think detonate grenades new. I don't remember that being there before. That's pretty cool. Maybe it was that. I suppose it is raining. The car might handle better in dry weather. On now, up, Mr. Quartz. 
Do some do a reasonable speed, please. Alright, I think I know where we are. Yeah, just head round the corner. Oh, this is too fast, man. It's too fast. We park out front. Oh god. Ah, shit. Oh yeah, one of you keeps asking me to check the this stuff, but I swear it hasn't changed. By now fixers in Night City know who to count on. Higher street cred means sweeter gigs, but not everyone will be toasting to your success. Fame brings with it enemies, but as Jackie would have said, ain't got time for no taro mumbo jumbo shit. Vamos! He would have been damn right. Okay, that's changed. Becoming Johnny Silverhand means absorbing his memories, his goals, and his insanity. Long before you're wiped, you'll stop being you. Or maybe your body will die first. Either way, you're getting worse by the day. You'll need to find a way to save yourself fast. Clock's ticking. It looks like two personalities in one brain is not only mad, but mad. Mutually assured destruction. There's got to be some way to stop the process, and it needs to be found quick. All right, Nix. Cheers, Emery. Let's go in the. Let's go in the bat way. Get you anything? Hi, hey, mate. You might not so, be you got the book? Yes. You got my eddies? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Huh. <laughs> yeah, let's negotiate. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The tablet's worth heaps more. I know that, and you know that. Maybe it is. But I offered you a price and you accepted it. Any contract can be declared null and void when a party thereto is proven to have acted in bad faith. Alright. Have it your way. You are hereby awarded a bonus. Pleasure doing business with you. Later. V. Oh. Word of advice. Don't pull shit like that with me. Just don't. Alright, mate. Fair enough. Uh, so we didn't pull the pay, pay the full amount. So he said he was gonna pay us the seven thousand that we were gonna pay for it, and then double, and then pay us seven more on top of that. So we've just made all profit. Yeah, we can't scan him. Mate, no. Nope. Okay. Beautiful. Back up to nearly 30 grand. Right, we need to decide where we're going now. But obviously I want to spend some time in Haywood, but we've got a couple of really interesting quests with the Perales is and with Joshua. It's just a question of what we're going to do first. There's Takimura. Hmm. Got a side job here in city centre, interestingly. It doesn't have a, a danger rating on it. That might be interesting to do. 
Oh, and we do have the one in our apartment, actually. Yeah, just because I, I need to head to these quests at the start of the episode, I think. Uh, we'll go and try out this gig. Because it's in our apartment. Oh, and that one with Stefan is here as well. Oh, and oh, is that the vending machine? Okay, beautiful. These are all quite close to each other, so we can give them a try. so powerful and fast that I'm just, I don't know if I can handle it. Sure, when I was scared out clients. beyond all so recognition. So expect quick and clean results. You will be entering Tiger Claw territory. Very high risk. More information attached. All right, sorry guys. I don't know why jo what Johnny was talking about. Search and recovery. The building where we live. Retrieve Leah Gladden's lock breaker device. Location builder, building on the corner of Holly and Floyd Street, door code 2137. Details. A great treasure can turn out to be a great curse. Remember that, V. One of the fences in my territory, Leah Gladden, came into possession of some highly valuable equipment, a lock break device capable of jailbreaking corpse cyberware. Some call it a corp cracker. This tech opens doors for suits who want out but don't want to lose function of corp issued chrome and are looking to make an extra eddy by selling second hand. Leah wasn't born yesterday, she knows what the techs were. She and I went back and forth, long price negotiations, we were close to reaching a deal when all contact was lost. Your job's to find out what happened to Leah, more importantly get that skeleton key for me. Don't bother reporting back until you have it, don't waste time. All right. This is our building. I don't know what Johnny was talking about. He said something about secret doors. Right? Might have to watch that footage back to know what he was going on about. Oh, watch yourself. Nix. Thanks again. All right. I just landed on that woman. I apologize. So can I just talk to this guy? I do live here. Hello. So we've already picked up a few bits from this quest without kind of realizing, you know? There was, some, was, there was something in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to refresh our memory. Sorry, mate. 
We've all woken up in a wooden cupboard before. Right. The radiator guy. Man, everything's so loud. Eating guy was here, went on about a pressure issue, saying there's a leak that set, set up some scaffolding. That was the last I saw him. Hasn't answered my calls or messages. Either the man hightailed it with the eddies, or there's a splat mark in his shape somewhere. Let us know how to proceed, okay? We need how a new guy. Plus, there's Good an access shard you problem. You can okay. Okay. Yeah. Eating guy dropped by today to see what's up, paid up front, so we asked again. You tell him to step off your dick. Anyway, you need to make a shard with whole building access because he said he's got to check all the feed pipes, pipe loops, or whatever the hell else. I don't know. It'll take hours. Okay, so this said he set up some scaffolding. So I know that we can get in normally, but let's just have a look outside. Hey. Okay, so we set up some scaffolding. Oh, there's more scaffolding here. Cheese knives! Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Aha! You wish to Oh, seriously, man. <laughs> There's no tigers anywhere then. Right, so we did already read a bunch of the stuff here. Which I am regretting. Yeah, see? Okay, so this was the vending machine being delivered. There was something like a warning from her friend, I think. His or her friend. Okay, there was a button here, so... I feel like Johnny was inside, maybe because we've already started. All of some, uh, most of the stuff in this quest, maybe Johnny was in here. Which sucks. I told you I thought I'd messed up that quest. Must be connected to those doors. Yep. Or a shitter flushing somewhere. Who knows? Yeah, sorry guys. I guess I've, I've messed up the quest, but not much I can do. Right. Nice. Eddies. 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 Free ammo. Silver earring and an access point. All right. One C, one C, E nine, no. One C fifty five, one C. Let's see, E9, E9. Shit. Oh. Got away with it. Messages. 
Make sure you're holding on to something because I've got something that will make you fall out of your chair. I've got a pretty piece of tech for sale that jailbreaks corporate equipment. 100% effective on both implants and weapons. Works across the board except for night corp tech. Must use another encryption system. Interested? Don't think too long. I have other buyers. Leah to uh, Wakako. I'm buying. Send details on payment and delivery. Skeleton Looks like Leah went to the Tiger Claws behind Wakako's back. This is playing both sides. Tisk tisk tisk. Claws aren't the deal honoring type. Let's see if she got lucky. Anna, I got something for you. A device for jailbreaking corp equipment. 100% effective on both implants and weapons. Works across the board except for night corp tech. Must use another encryption system. Let me know if you're interested, but don't think long. I have other buyers. Leah. Holy shit, I'll give three times more than the best offer. Drop by Wired Head and we'll hit the market. Aina. Oh, we're going to a BD club. Sick. Oh, I'm so glad this quest goes somewhere else. I thought I'd just completely ruined it. Alright, let's hop out the window. All right, my beautiful car. Definitely handles a little strange, this car. Really nice for handbrake turns. Oh, I'm, I'm excited now. A brain dance club. Me? You're the one who's got issues. No indicator. I don't know what that flashing is, but... Right. Here we go. Wired head. And there's also a... NCPD scanner mission over here. What, Tino's? No, Tigers. It's just an assault. We could go and quickly take these guys down. I don't know. I don't want to disturb this mission with that, you know. Hello there, friend. Oh, it's telling me to go in the elevator. Hang on, have we got a fridge? the stairs. I don't think it would be particularly clever to... take the elevator, right? Oh, this place is sleazy. Right, hostile area. We need to be. We, we can't really do pings anymore. Right, we've, we've, we've 
got body disposal. Right, we can do a ping. Jesus, man. I can't breach. Oh, it's not even on. That's weird. Yeah, I say we take control. Honestly, Matt, just pick just pick the right option. Seriously. Not a good idea to ping him. Yeah, so we would have come out of here. And just been in out in the wide open. Is that a net runner? No. Quite a few of them. Yeah, Joan in there and they're net runners. Okay, and she's not jacked in, so she is like live. So we definitely shouldn't ping. It's a bit more satisfying tagging people like this, isn't it? As opposed to using the ping. Hello there. Okay, so that's the quest item. In their, in their little server room. Um, that looks like where we're close to, but I could be wrong. So we could, like, kill everyone through the cameras, right? <laughs> That'd be pretty sick, right? I could make him go cyber psycho, I could hit... Oh, but the Netrunner's gonna... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, to stop the Netrunner from get hacking us... Um, from finding us, even... Uh, or locating us. I'm gonna give this a try. Yo, 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 my Mr. Whitey here. So if we hit a breach, then cyber psychosis on the net on the Jonin, they all target her, then we throw in a bunch of um contagions and cripple movements and stuff. Yeah, that could work. Let's give it a try, it'll be fun. Right. 55, 1C, 1C, no. 9. Yep. <laughs> Quick. I don't think that works. Call me crazy. Oh, this door. An 
animals poster. Oh, nice jacket. Okay, so that was weird. We've killed two of them. I guess I shouldn't have done reboot optics. That probably messed it up. 55, 7, Got a little bit of leeway, so wow. It's the seven A's that are I right clicked by accident. Did you see how quickly that uploaded? Oh my god, did you see that? Wow! Can't believe I messed up the breach. Bingo, come to mama. Huh, and to think so many people died for this tiny shit spec. Yeah. It's not the size that counts. Both you and I know no one actually believes that. <laughs> right, hang on, dude. I can't believe how quickly all of that up. I just change guns. No. Shaky fingers, 55, 1C, 7A, nope. This guy's just... <laughs> oh, 
Oh. What a gunk. Right. We're not going to get any extra money, unfortunately, but we could use the components. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think I've got it. Archive conversation between Goichi and Kana. You there? Here, what's up? Wide head, it's blown. For a while now. Too many know about it. Show up without invites. See the NCPD sweeping yourself. Blue boys don't concern me. For those actual wireheads from Maelstrom, they're getting gutsy. Better, better to avoid a jump from them. Thanks for the tip. No problem. Good luck. Uh, we shouldn't leave one person alive. Let's not be unreasonably cruel here. I don't know why I can't hack him. Alright, we'll leave him. Sorry. Right, here we go. From, yeah, from Leia again. Yeah, that was the original email. Paige got that lock break and dirt cheap, if you know what I mean. That chick Leah was so dumb, she came with the tech, no hustle, so we blasted her before she could even open her mouth. Anyway, I find a buyer tube, and I mean, if you want to throw 10% my way, I ain't gonna complain. Kana, you brain dead fucking gonk. Leah didn't bring hustle because she only knew the dumbest fucking moron had lift a finger against her. Whole damn city knows she's working with Wakako, and you don't fucking touch Wakako's people unless you got a good, I mean, real fucking good reason. No way Wakako lets this slide. You gotta bust ass over to Wired Head, turn that dump into a goddamn fortress, and if you don't, you're gonna join Leah real soon. Ah. So Alright, I'm out of here. One last quick act, um, breach. Sorry. Nine, one C, one C. Hard to control though. Now let's stroll out of here in the elevator. Yeah, drop point, fair enough. More cheese knives, are you serious? Right, let's take down these gongs while we're here. Oh, 
Hopefully that wasn't me who killed him. An electric sword. Yeah, they all had smart weapons. Got some biz. Store on Broad Street. Slap on the wrist or bullet to the brain. Bullet. Don't want to pay? Why not? Daisy doesn't need protection. So a gong. Even hired some hustle on it of his own. Zero the whole bunch. Mercs or animals? Animals. Wow. There's one left. Where are you? Vazian upload. What the hell was that? Maybe it's the guy in the club, I don't know. Oh, that's weird, I'm out of it. It'll still be on the map if I've not cleared it, right? Okay, we can walk there. It's a weekend episode. Oh, he's up there. I guess they're not related to the quest. Okay, maybe they are. I quite like this gun. I cannot, honestly, I genuinely can't believe how fast these quick hacks are now. Oi! What the hell is this nonsense? That's crazy. I don't know what that is. Oh. I see you were able to find a lock breaker. Splendid work. Keep it up. Closing the contract. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Made a bit of money. Anyway, right. Sorry, this. 
a bit all over the place this episode, mainly because I had to do... It was a little bit fetch questy just having to drive somewhere and drive back to Nick's, but fair enough. Interesting, we... Um, Spider Murphy got some nice little insight into the, the lore there. Um, net running quest, pretty cool. Uh, got rid of some Tiger Claws, drove our awesome new car, which is a little scary to drive around. Um, yeah, I'll sell all those guns I just picked up and we'll pick it up from here next time. I don't know what I'm going to... I mean, I'll either go straight for the Paralyses or I'll go straight to Joshua. I'm not sure which one it'll be, but I'll decide before the next episode. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on-crate.